So in the last lecture, we have successfully created the production grade image. And now it's time to push that image to the Docker Hub. So let me show you the first, the image over here. So let me close all the things. And we have this image. Okay. What's the Docker images? Okay. Okay. Uh, we have this image. And we are going to push this image on the Docker registry. So first thing first, you have to go on the Docker Hub. Okay. Docker.com. And you have to get sign in into the your account. So I'm just going to sign in in my account. Okay, so once you log in into a Docker account, then you have to create a repository here. So as you can see that we have this repository and you are might be thinking it's similar to GitHub. And if you are using the GitHub, the almost uh, steps is same. So here also we create the repository and that repository we push the images. Okay, so we have to give the name over here. So in the repository name, we are using the name over here like tic tac toe. So once you build the image and if you want to push on the Docker Hub, so one thing you have to remember, so it's have to match the first username, then the forward slash the repository name. So in our case, we have this username Ruit Marathe and we have the repository name, the tic-tac-toe. So once you're done with that, so you get two options over here, okay, like public, the private one. So in the private one, you can able to push only one single image over here, okay. So as I mentioned, so we can able to use only one image, but in the public, you can able to store unlimited images as per your choice okay and one thing you have to remember so once you make the image the public so it can be appears in the docker search as it's mentioned over here like appears in docker hub but in the production grade and the companies are mostly use the private section over here so they store their images in the private section but we are not going to store this image in the private so we are using the public one so you have to just select the public option and then you have to uh, click on this button create so it's going to create a repository for us so as you can see that we have successfully created a repository over here and docker also mentioned the command over here like pushing the image like docker push and this is the command over here so let's try to push this docker command okay uh, not the docker command the docker image so we are using the docker push over here so we are pushing the image so hence we are using docker push then we are going to use this uh, image over here okay and one thing you have to remember so as you can see that we have this colon and tag name so what does mean so as I discussed earlier, so images have with their different type of tags, but in our case, we are using the latest one. Okay. So we are using the colon, the latest one or either if you have the front end image. So if I uh, build the front end image, then we are tagged as a front end. And if you have built the back end image, then we are, so we are tagged as a back end. But in our case, we are using the latest tag over here. Okay. So you have to use this command like Docker push with Marate and forward slash tic tac toe and colon latest and one thing you have to remember before pushing the image so make sure that you are logged in into your docker desktop account so without that you cannot able to push this image to the docker hub so once you're done with the, all the things now you can able to push this image to the docker hub so again we are using the docker push and then we have mentioned the docker image name and colon the latest so if you press enter and as you can see that it start the pushing the image to the repository over here okay so it's preparing and within a second it's going to push this image on to the docker hub so as you can see that we have successfully pushed this image to the docker hub so let's verify so i'm just going to refresh this page over here and uh, if we scroll down okay so if you scroll down so as you can see that we have this tags over here like latest and we have successfully pushed this image of few seconds ago so if you click on the see all so we are able to see this image okay so as you can see that we have this docker pull command over here so let me show you so what we are going to do right now we are going to delete this image so right now we have this image so what we are going to do we are going to remove this image and we are going to pull the same image from the docker registry and let's try to pull that image and run to our system okay so first thing we are going to remove this uh, docker image like docker rmi dash f and then i have to mention this image id over here okay then also check the there are nothing container is running also remove the container over here okay everything is gone right now so what i'm going to do so i'm just going to open my repository again once here so as you can see that we have this public view so if you click on that okay so you get this command like docker pull and tic-tac-toe so we have to just copy this command over here and i'm just going to open my terminal and I have to just paste this command. So as you can see that we have this command like docker pull and ruit marate and forward slash tic-tac-toe. So it's going to pull that image from the docker registry to my system. Okay. 
so if you press enter so it's going to start the pulling the image from docker registry so as you can see that we have successfully pulled the docker image so let's verify once again like docker images okay so as you can see that we have the image and let's try to run this image okay so for running the uh, this image so we are using docker run command and dash p and 80 uh, i just want to put 80 and 80 and this time uh, using with marathe forward slash tic tac toe and one thing i have to show you so if you run this command so what will happen it's going to run the uh, image for us so if you visit the colon 80 okay and the image is working fine so what will happen if i press ctrl c so it's going to kill the image or not the kill the image it's going to stop the image and all the process is stop okay so let's suppose if you want to run this image but you don't want to get all the clutter in the universe terminal so we have this all the clutters over here okay so you don't want this type of clutter so for that we are going to run this image in the detached mode okay so what will happen it is going to run in the background in the terminal okay so let me show you so again we are using the same command like docker run and dash p the at at and then we mention the name over here and only one thing you have to be change over here not the change so one thing you have to be add so this is the how we are usually run the image but this time you have to just come over here before the image name okay so once you mention the port number then you have to use the minus d over here and you have to give a space so this time what will happen so it's going to run the image in the detached mode okay so if you press enter so as you can see that we got this id over here and let's verify using the docker ps command so we get the list of running containers over here and as you can see that the container is running and if i refresh this page so as you can see that we are successfully able to run the image in the detached mode or in the background and also we are able to push the docker image as well and pulling the docker image from the docker registry so that's pretty much and see you guys in the next video